fly fishing for trout and salmon has always been one of my great passions and large chunks of my youth spent on wild Scottish rivers or the chalk streams in Derbyshire. I even made my own fly rods to catch the most elusive of fish, sea trout and salmon, and I used to tie my own flies as well. Days would be spent patiently trying to coax the most intelligent of fish, the salmon. Permit, which I bought for £7.50, which will enable me to fly fish in the River Typhi. So at approximately half past seven, in about two hours time, I'm going to have a go at fishing. Now a few years ago I was staying in West Wales. Now every fisherman knows there are big fish in there, but locating and tempting them is another matter. While I was fishing I heard a young boy calling out. I thought at first he'd fallen into the river, but to great excitement he had something on the end of his line. Don't worry, we'll get him in without a net. I'm now filming this young man called Mark who's hooked a rather nice sea trout, which I should think is all of ten pounds, probably more. But uh, we've on the end of the line there. We're doing very well. Surface, see if we'll come up. Just a, just a little persuasion. Not pulling too tight, but there it is. Keep your rod up a bit. That's it. Because they are known to make sudden runs. somewhere. Can you pull him up to the surface a bit? What a beauty. It's a nice fish. See a fish of that size could make a sudden rush across the river. What we're gonna do is tire him out. Tire him out. And that's what you're doing just by coaxing him and uh, what is it? Salmon or a chillin? Ten pounds? Roughly. <laughs> I hope I'm not in a chat and salmon. That'll make a very nice meal then. Well, a few meals. <laughs> Mark, if you land this, I want you to take it to my, the little man in the hospital for me. Oh, Just yeah. tell him to see it. I've got a nurse it and I've got a patient. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that is a nice fish. You see, now you see you're beginning to tar him because he occasionally Hanging rolls over, over yeah. But don't be, in, don't be in a hurry because sea trout are known to have sudden surges of energy. Yeah, he's it's a nice fish. Oh, my God. Yeah, how did I get in there? Well done. Well done. Oh, <laughs> You've got him, Mark. He's yeah. a salmon. He's got to be a salmon. Get him up there so he doesn't move back. Where have you got? That's very good. Oh, well done. That's marvellous. That's a salmon, isn't it? Um, or a suin, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's a sea trout. Oh, a suin, yeah. Mark, Hi. Can I have a look at him, Mark? That's good. Is that your first one? It is. Yes. Hold him like that. Yeah. Oh, That's marvellous. He's a good fish, that. Yeah, very nice. 
fish is caught on the river Typhi. Is it Typhi? Typhi. Typhi, yeah. Caught by Mark and assisted by his mother. <laughs> I'd say uh, seven or eight pounds or something on the river Typhi. We're now looking at some of the flies that Mark has made. So they're presumably... Have you got names for them, Mark? No, not no. really. But, uh... There's the old salmon. There it is. Look at that marking. That's a fine fish, that. Well, having assisted young Mark to land his first salmon, I agreed to send him and his mum the video I took. To my complete surprise, a week or so later, I received in the post a heavy package in the form of a book written by no less than the leading expert on salmon fishing, Hugh Forkus, who happened to be Mark's uncle. In the foreword of this very thick book, Hugh starts off by saying that anyone who thinks they understand the salmon needs to think again.